Good everybody. Um, as Wally said, I'm Cliff. I'm the best man and also his brother. Um, I'd just like to take a little bit of time to say a few words about my little brother. And, uh, it's not true. He is well Um Firstly, I'll just let you know, I don't usually call Walter by his name. Um, as this is a special occasion, I know how much he loves his name. I will, yeah. Um, you can tell our dad had a bit of a sense of humour when it came to the name of his children. <laughs> now, when Walter first told me he was going to ask Sarah to marry him, I wasn't at all surprised. Because I've always thought that they, uh, they make a great couple. And also, Sarah makes a great chef's pie. Which is good, because the only way you'll get Wally to eat vegetables is to hide them. Now, uh, Walter spent a lot of time and effort pursuing Sarah, as he's just told you. Um, and she shunned his advances. Uh, but his persistence eventually paid off. And since that day, Wally and Sarah have barely been seen apart. So, of course, the next step was marriage. And I'm more than proud to be here today to witness two of the nicest people I know, Ty and I. About, uh, that you need to know about my brother. Now, one, Walter is not a real brunette. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's noticed, but he is actually ginger. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Sorry, Mark, I blame your cover there. Uh, number two, Wally really likes movies. <laughs> now, Wally's preferred genres are rom coms and animation. And his absolute favourite has to be Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> which, fits, which fits into both categories. Walter has watched it countless times and knows all the words, especially the part of the whistling beaver. And even to this day, when the, when the film ends, he has to shout, Again! Again! <laughs> so if you look at the birthday presents for Walt, basically any films with Hugh Grant or fluffy whistling animals will suit him just fine. <laughs> Number three. Walter is very generous. He'll always be the first to buy the drinks at the bar. Although he rarely drinks himself, when he does drink, there are usually consequences. <laughs> Things like the landlord asking him to leave, shaking in the hand of anyone wearing an Arsenal shirt while repeating, shake my hand, shake my hand. <laughs> but my favourite has to be the time he came to stay at my house after he'd been out for a few with his mates. He decided that he wanted something to eat, so off he went to the kitchen. He was gone for quite a while, so I thought well, I'd better go and find him and see what he's got up to. I walked into the kitchen and I found him on the floor lying in a pool of his own blood. <laughs> this is true. This is true. It transpired that uh, he'd, knocked, he'd uh, cracked his mouth on the kitchen side somehow, knocked himself out, smashed his front tooth out, and, uh, which has never been found to this day. We can only assume that he'd swallowed it. Not quite the meal you were after, I think. No. <laughs> Um, so I began slapping him around the face thinking he was dead. <laughs> um, he woke up dazed and confused. I breathed a sigh of relief and I, put him, I cleaned him up and I put him to bed. <laughs> you still owe me a t-shirt for that night. <laughs> you bring that bloody my t-shirt. Right. And number four, this is the last thing you'll need to know about Walter. He's the nicest bloke I know and I'm proud to call him my brother. And I'm even lucky to call him my best mate. Sarah both remember the night that they first met, but let me fill the rest of you in on the uh, details. They first met on a night out in Hartford. Walter was what you might call uh, full of it. And, uh, Sarah was not overly impressed by it. He was a typical young single man and Sarah was having none of his bravado. So uh, Walter realised the error of his ways and uh, began his charm offensive. Eventually he wore her down and Sarah agreed to let him take her out. And here we are today. So Sarah, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for agreeing to marry my brother. Um, for being a great partner to him, and I think you bring that the best in each other. Um, however, I think you may regret taking the Shakari name, because you will have to endure a lifetime of mispronunciation. <laughs> things, like, <laughs> things like Shakari, Shankari, or my personal favourite, Shagatry. <laughs> All joking aside though, I think you're perfect for each other, and I'm, I'm really happy for you both. Uh, before I finish, I'd like to say a few things about someone who's not here today um, to join our celebrations, and that's our dad. Uh, sadly, our dad passed away a couple of years ago, but I know he'd have been very proud to have been here today. 
um, to see you both get married. Sarah, I know you only met the dad a handful of times, but he would have, I know he was fond of you um, and he would have given your marriage his blessing. So I'd like to say on his behalf, congratulations to you both. So I'll draw a I'd like to do this by saying some thank yous. I'd like to thank the ushers. Adam here, if you could please stand up. Come on, get up, mate! Uh, Adam just wanted to, uh, me to let you all know that he's paid all school, you're all a taxi at the end of the night if you need one. And, uh, <laughs> and pay for it. Uh, but he wouldn't be available to carry your um, baggage to the cars in the morning if you're staying at the hotel. <laughs> Um, I'd also like to uh, thank Lee, the Master of Ceremonies. Lee, can you stand up? I'd like to thank you, Lee, for three things. Um, a, for turning B, up. <laughs> B, for turning up on time. <laughs> and I've got down here C, for turning up in a suit. <laughs> Must be the dry cleaners, I'm guessing. Obviously, you know that. I'd also like to thank uh, bridesmaids, which obviously Molly's already done. You guys are absolutely stunning today. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you for being here and sharing this special occasion with us. Uh, so if you'd all like to uh, be upstanding, raise your glasses in a toast. Yeah, cool. To Wally and Sarah. Wally and Sarah.